Though thy beginning was small, yet thy latter end should greatly increase. Job 8 verse 7 what's up beautiful people welcome back to my channel today we're going to be tackling another diy i see it everywhere and i am so intrigued and i want to do it myself because i collected a few very large vessels from my mother-in-law and as you guys can see this is about the height of my torso this is very big and very heavy I collected a few of these from my mother-in-law because she was getting rid of them and she said whatever I wanted I could have so I took a few of them. I took a few of the really really large ones. So today I'm going to be trying to create those RH stone like vessels and I want a clean look. I don't really want that rustic or very aged look. I want a really sleek, very clean stone look so for creating that I'm gonna be using some white paint and this is just some regular house paint and I see everybody using the baking soda or baking powder or dirt but I'm not gonna be using that I'm gonna be using flour so this should be very interesting and of course I have some sanitary plates a sponge and my scissors now this is, this is just to cut the sponge in half um, or maybe a quarter so I could have a little bit more control I think a half is fine a little bit more control when it comes to applying the paint to the vessel so let's get this set up I'm going to cover my little table because I have a little table in front of me I'm gonna cover my little table with some paper and stuff and then we'll get started so to get started i'm just going to start off by adding a little of the paint enough to the, cover the entire vessel i hope and i'm going to add the flour in it until i get the consistency that i think would you know give that thick kind of stone like effect and to mix it i'm just using one of the little wicker sticks from my liquid diffuser you know the ones that you buy from the store so i'm just using that so that i can throw it away after Using a tablespoon, I hope you guys can actually see what I'm doing. But I'm using a tablespoon, I'm just gonna add about this much. This actually looks blue and not white. <laughs> This actually looks mm. So it's definitely thick as you guys can see it almost looks like paste. I don't think it's gonna be enough so I'm gonna add a little more.
think you guys can see that. And it's very, very hard to mix with this stick. I actually wish, wish I had some sanitary spoons or something to mix this with. Because it is so hard with this thin little stick. Okay, before my pink starts to dry on me, let me just start on by applying what I have to this vessel. Oh, Ooh, this is heavy. Ooh. So as you guys can see, this is how it looks. And I'm just going to take this and stamp it. Oh guys, this is going to be great. <laughs> and stamp it all over. So this is how the vase is looking with only one coat of the paint with the flower and when I say the texture is amazing, the texture is amazing. 
If you don't like getting messy, painting is not for you. <laughs> I'm just saying. But I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to give you guys a close up of how the first coat looks because I do think I'm going to have to go in when this dries, maybe turn it over so I can get closer to the bottom because the plastic is in the way. So let me just give you guys a close up of how this is looking so far. So like I was saying about the texture, those little spots that you can see, it's because the vase already has a texture of its own. So adding a thicker coat of paint or like a chalk paint or what I did with the flower in the regular house paint definitely brought out the beauty of that texture and I am loving it. Like I said, I think I only have to get down here at the bottom because the plastic is in the way. Like I said, I wish I had me a Lazy Susan so I could just keep turning and turning but so far, so good. I can't wait to see how this looks after the finished coat. I think only one more coat is needed and this will definitely be completed. This is just beautiful. I only went over the parts of the vase that needed just a little extra TLC so I just mixed up a tiny bit more of the flower with the paint and I went over the rim and the bottom of the vase and everything came out perfectly. Adding the flower to the paint definitely works and it makes sense because you can make natural paint using flower, water and coloring. So if you guys want to give this a try, definitely go ahead and you save so much more because those RH vessels are so expensive, three, four hundred dollars and I saved it by using things that I found in my kitchen as well as a vessel that I got from my mother-in-law. So if you guys like this video, definitely go ahead, give me a thumbs up, comment, like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video as always. Peace and love until next time.